Hi everyone! So in this exercise you are going to be identifying key signatures. So here you have the order of flats, but you still need to find the key signature and what this order of flats represent. Okay, so first of all you need to go to your gear and make sure you have the right settings. Uh, you want to have your clef, either one depending on your instrument or if you want to give yourself an extra challenge you can try another clef for the key signatures you want to have all the key signatures enabled all of them make sure that all of them are enabled okay and note names you want to have letters so the first one here letters okay once you're done with this we may go back and we can get started all right so for the flats, the logic, the trick, I would say, how to find the key signature is by looking at the second to the last flat. So you have the order, and this is the last, this is the second to the last flat. And this, once you recognize the name of this flat, you are going to be able to tell what key signature it is. In this case, this is a D flat. So D flat is the same name of my key signature, which is going to be a D flat major. One more with flats. Second to the last flat is this one. This is a E flat here. Okay, this is on the E. E flat, that means it's a E flat major. Now let's take a look at the sharp. For the sharps, you are going to take the last sharp in your order of sharps and you're just going to go one note above you're gonna go a note above okay so this one here is a d sharp a note above d is e so this is a e major key next one last sharp this is a e sharp here i'm gonna go a note above it's an F, but I already have an F sharp here in my order of sharps. Therefore, the key signature here is not F major, but F sharp major. One thing you always have to remember is that when you have no sharps or flats, you are going to always go for the C major. And remember that we are just talking about major keys here, okay? We're not talking about relative minor, just major. Moving on. Flats again. Second to the last flat. This is a D flat here. That's the name of my scale. D flat major. Sharp again. Go to your last sharp. This is an A sharp here. And go one note above A, B. There are no B sharps in my order of sharps so far, so it's just going to be a B major. One sharp, one note above F sharp, it is a G. There is no G sharps before this here, so it's just going to be a G major. And this is a B sharp here. Now, one note above B is C. But, take a look, I have a C sharp here in my order of sharps. So this is not going to be a C major, but it's going to be a C sharp major. B flat. This one you also have to remember because we don't have a second to the last note. B flat is always a F major. So you have C major, no sharps or flats and F major, B flat. Sharp again, last sharp, this is a G sharp, one note above G is A, no A sharp here, it's an A major. And the last one I'm going to show you, second note, we are talking about flats now, second to the last note, this is a G flat here, and that's the name of my key. G flat major. All right, I hope you understood what this means. Now, please go and finish 30 flashcards. Thank you.